bust down, Barbiana, bust down, Barbiana. Bust down and pick that shit up. Bust down and pick that shit up. Hey guys, how y'all doing? Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you guys a beautiful wig I just got from Domily. I'll also be showing you guys the wig's reaction to die. Actually, this is going to be my single time ever dying a wig. My first time was for my client. Shout out to you. I know you watch my videos. Thank you so much for patronizing me. If you guys didn't know, I'm a hairstylist. So if you want to get your hair done at an affordable rate, hit me up. DM me. I have a business page. It's going to be somewhere on the screen. I don't want to talk too much. So pause the video and I'll give it a big thumbs up. Follow my social media platforms. They'll be in the description box below. Also, all the information about this hair and many more will be in the description box below as well. Most importantly, hit that subscribe button, join the family, join the gang. We are late on the road to 10k. Let's get it. And with that being said, let's go. So you guys, I got this package from Domily. And it is a 24-inch jerry curl wig. When you open the box, this is how it is. You see the wig, obviously, in the package. It also comes with a black wig cap. I don't know if y'all can see. But it comes with a black wig cap and a cute headband. For you guys that like headbands, it comes with that too. So, I'm going to open this up real quick. So, yeah, this is the wig. Make sure y'all can see the wig. This is the wig. It looks so nice. Like, literally, the curls look so good. And like I mentioned earlier, it's a 24 inch, so it's definitely long. Let me try to stretch it out so you guys can see. It is long, jerry curl, and it's actually soft. Nowhere smells, so that's good. I already, you know, I'm feeling the wig, I'm feeling the wig. I'ma just try to put it on real quick just to see how it looks like before I get into dyeing it, styling it, and actually installing this wig on myself. So this is the wig and I love it. Like it feels so good and so soft. I can't wait to actually install this because I'm gonna be fly. It has a lot of body to it, a lot of volume. It's cute, I really like it and it's soft. Dominique, really, y'all did your thing. I really, really like this. I like this. The length is amazing too. You don't have to go too long. This is really cute. I really, really like this. Very soft very soft this is cute and um i don't think you guys have to do too much to the lace or too much plucking because it seems pretty pre-plucked like this is the hairline this is what they're working with the hairline is good you don't have to do too much i don't think i would be plucking this either or even bleaching the knots because the lace seems pretty pretty nice I'm going to see the part yeah this is really nice this is really nice so let's just get right into dyeing this wig for this process all i used was some water 20 volume developer bleaching powder the black hair dye brush and then a plastic disposable plate so i'm just going to pour my 20 volume developer in the disposable plate and then i'm going to add my bleaching powder now i recommend you guys make it a little bit thick so it bleaches like more effectively and faster so that you can get a good result when you're actually you know using the hair dye and stuff so i'm just going to mix this together until i'm satisfied i want it like you know thick so yeah after i'm done mixing it i'm just going to spread the wig flat lay flat on the counter and then i'm going to divide it section by section and apply the dye from the roots to the tip of the hair apply as much as you can but don't waste it but still apply as much as you can because you want it to bleach all around and you don't want like you know some parts to be black and some parts to be bleached so yeah be careful and you know do this take your time take your time
so this is how it looked like after the first time i applied the bleach on it actually i wasn't satisfied with this result so i went ahead and made a thicker mixture because the first time it wasn't as thick as i wanted it to be because i didn't think it was just going to make a difference but it did make a huge difference you guys are going to see in this clip that you know it changed better and it looked more bleached than the first time so i recommend you guys make your mixture very thick so that it can bleach fast and actually bleach effectively so now that i am satisfied with the bleach results i'm going to rinse it off with warm water and then after this i'm going to apply some shampoo wash it out and then when i'm done with this process i'm going to see you guys This is how the wig looks after being dried. You can clearly see that it changed color. So I put hot water in a bowl and then I'm just going to put some cold water because it was too hot. So I'm just going to pour all my dye in there and mix it all up so I make sure it's evenly distributed. And then I put my wig inside, make sure everything is in there. To be honest, this water was very, very hot. It was just burning me in here, but for the sake of this video, I had to form hard guy. Anyways, yeah, that's all you do. And then bring it out. And then, yeah. then of course you rinse it out and then apply conditioner shampoo and all that serenity. after you do that just basically dry the wig start the wig anyhow you want so you guys are going to see that in the next clip so you guys should keep watching and then to see how it turned out in the end keep watching
right you guys so this is how the hair turned out this is the color make sure you guys can see it looks really good with my skin tone a lot of people have been saying that and i personally feel like that's true because you know melanin and you know it's just really really cute it took a while to dye this hair this color but like i feel like it's really worth it and the fact that the hair didn't really shed you all saw like you know a little clip of how much hair i lost on this wig while doing this whole dyeing process and that's not a lot actually compared to a lot of videos i've seen and a lot of other people that have told me their experience so don't really you did your thing i really really like this and y'all it's soft regardless of the fact that it's dry right now it's still really soft and it has a lot of body but um when the hair is wet you can't really see this color it's like a dark brown when it's wet i'll show you guys a little clip somewhere on the screen yeah it's like a dark brown but that's not a problem though i really really still like it and then when it's wet the curls just look more you know elegant but i really like this hair thank you so much Dominic, for sending me this wig thank you thank you thank you if you want more information about this hair go ahead and check the link in the description box below everything is there they have quality hair for affordable at very very affordable rates so y'all go ahead and check them out most importantly hit that subscribe button join the family join the gang relate and with that being said i'll see you guys in my next video